What's up, YouTube? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all off rip. This reaction video we're doing today gonna be for all my nerds out there. So if you're not a nerd and you don't know, like growing your brain strength and learning about different things just to learn about it, then you could check out. Today we're gonna be reacting to um, a video about what happens if you stop eating sugar for 14 days. Let's see what they got for us. So the question is, what would actually happen to your body if you really gave up sugar, I mean completely, for two weeks? Let's take a look at that. Number one, you are gonna lose your appetite to sugar. Why? Because every time you consume sugar, a hormone comes in there and pushes your blood sugars down, causing a low blood sugar situation, hypoglycemia to some degree, and that is gonna cause you to crave sugar. So by getting rid of sugar, you get rid of the craving for sugar. Number two, you're gonna be less hungry. Mm -hmm. Until you do this, you won't really fully know, but I'm telling you, it's the sugar that keeps you hungry all the time. When you give up the sugar, you become a lot less hungry. Why? Because you stabilize your blood sugars. And now your cells can be actually fed because when you're living in sugar, because sugar is toxic to the body, the body starts rejecting. I don't know about the less hungry part. He sounded like he wasn't even sure about talking about some now. If you know, you know, whatever he said. And then dude talking like he a pastor or stuff. When you're living in sugar, you know, pastor be saying when living in sin and all that, man, he, he, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm enjoying this already. Rejecting it. That's called insulin resistance. So the body is blocking insulin because sugar. He lost me, y'all. He lost me. I'm about to start it back right quick. Sugar is toxic to the body, the body starts rejecting it. That's called insulin resistance. So the body is blocking insulin because that controls sugar, and what your body's really trying to do is limit the amount of sugar inside the cells. So the body doesn't consider it a good thing, it's a bad thing. So when you give it up, this thing can reverse, and not only can you now absorb proper amounts of fuel, you'll absorb nutrients a lot better too, because insulin resistance also blocks nutrients minerals, vitamins, and that's one of the functions of insulin. All right, number three, you're gonna have less fatigue, especially after eating a meal. When you're eating sugar on a regular basis, um, usually you're gonna be tired after you eat, and that is a blood sugar thing. But you're gonna find that you're no longer gonna be that tired after you eat. It just means that now you're no longer having higher sugar, which basically makes the brain tired. It's normal sugar, and now your brain can be awake. All right, number four, you're gonna lose excessive water and fat. For the first week, you're gonna dump a lot of water and some fat, but after that, it's gonna be more and more fat. Um, you're gonna be surprised how much fluid you are retaining. Uh, some people within one week can lose about 13 pounds of fluid. They're holding that fluid around and that can't be that healthy for the heart. Of course, you're gonna see your, your clothes loosening, especially on the midsection. Your gut, your <laughs> waist is one of the best indicators to tell if you're doing too much sugar. If you reduce the sugar, the stomach shrinks. If you eat the sugar, your stomach will expand, okay? Huh. Number five, enhanced mood. So if you were grouchy before, you're now gonna be a lot calmer, less stressed, and you're gonna be actually nice to be around, okay? That's good. Also, your cognitive function will improve. So you're, you're gonna feel more focused, you're gonna have more concentration, you'll be less ADD, more attention to focus on your projects. Okay, number six. Maybe I need to stop eating gonna sugar. Much better. You're gonna have less acne, your skin's gonna glow, uh, and that's just a reflection of what happens when you consume sugar, your insulin goes up, and also the hormone androgens, and we're talking about females, androgen will go up, and that's gonna create acne. In a male body, the increased insulin will lower testosterone, so you're gonna have other problems that are associated with low testosterone. All right, number seven. Oh, no. Hold on. That is low testosterone. So if I stop eating sugar, I ain't gonna be able to you know what I'm saying? Let me see. What is this dude talking about? Females. Androgen will go up, and that's going to create acne. In a male body, the increased insulin will lower testosterone, so you're going to have other problems that are associated with low testosterone. Oh, no. 
All right, number seven, you have less stiffness. So you're gonna have less inflammation. You're gonna have less pain. So what's happening is all we're doing is we're converting your fuel from sugar to fat. It takes three days, okay, of cutting down the carbohydrates and the sugar. You may have a worsening of the symptoms for three days, okay? Guys, anyone can actually handle three days. And if you took some B vitamins from nutritional yeast and some potassium, you probably won't have any symptoms. So it's gonna be relatively easy. At the cellular level, you're building new enzymes to run your body off fat fuel, okay? That's what's so, happening here. You have little machines that are literally changing over to a different fuel source. That's what's happening over these two weeks. That's crazy. You're getting decreased inflammation in your arteries, okay? That's what's happening when you get off sugar. Less inflammation. It's gonna help you in the long run prevent a clot or plaquing and help reduce the risk of a stroke and a heart attack. Also, you'll start growing brain cells. Why? Because when you reduce sugar, then you run your body on a different source of fuel called ketones. And ketones support the growth of nerve cells. All right, next one, the liver. You're gonna start dumping some of this fat that's been accumulating in your liver, and you can use that as fuel. So you're on your way to cleaning out the liver so it's no longer fatty. By the way, as a, as a side note, if you have a large belly, chances are you have a fatty liver, okay? So by doing this, you will reduce the fat inside your liver. And lastly, you're gonna have better kidney function. Take a look at a diabetic. The kidney is the target for problems. When you actually cut down the amount of sugar, reduce the carb, you can improve kidney function greatly. All right, guys, there you have it. You may wanna try this. The proof's in the pudding. Maybe I shouldn't talk about pudding. But this is the icing on the cake. Now, maybe I shouldn't even talk about that. All right. Thanks for watching. All righty. I hope y'all learned something today. I definitely did. It got it. It sounds like sugar got its pros and cons. Um, one big con for me is when he said it's gonna, the males have lower testosterone with increased insulin. And then I think increased insulin comes from you're not intaking so much sugar. And he said you're gonna have problems that are associated with having low testosterone. So if you caught that, then you caught that. If you didn't, then uh, you know you're gonna find out if you ever stop eating sugar. I don't think I'm gonna be stopping for a while unless I really have to. I ain't gonna lie. But I appreciate y'all for checking in with me on this uh, reaction today. I hope y'all learned something, like I said, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.